guys! Welcome back to my channel, Lady Survival here. So today I'm going to be trying to do a Night Elf Taronda makeup tutorial. Um, I did this like a few weeks ago on my Instagram and I had a couple people request for a tutorial on how to do it. Um, I made a tutorial like 10 years ago on my channel on like an old laptop webcam and I've definitely done the night elf makeup like a few times over the years it never turns out the same way twice and i usually mess up a lot when i'm doing it so it's not like i like have it totally down and just know exactly what i'm doing so hopefully this all turns out okay i'm gonna be doing uh one eye i think just this one on youtube and then i'm gonna film the other eye on Instagram Reels. Um, I, I've recently been doing makeup tutorials on Instagram. I've only done two, but I really enjoy doing them and I usually I'll start with like one eye finish and then do the other eye. So I'm going to kind of utilize doing this makeup and kind of get two pieces of content out of it. So yeah, hopefully this YouTube one will be more like in-depth and kind of, you know, every single step, whereas the Instagram one is kind of more like quick, you know? So basically what we're going to be using is I have this purple body paint. I put a little bit of water in it because that's how you use body paint and how you activate it. And I also have um, in the lid of the body paint, I have a little bit of water in case I need more water. Um, and we're just going to be using a brush like this. As you can see, I've already dipped into it a little bit. Um, low key, I've already tried to film this like three times and I keep fucking up. Um, but I went and grabbed, I was trying to use like... A palette and try to kind of like hold it up couldn't do it there's too much going on with that so I managed to set up I have like a full-length mirror here so I have like a spot where I can kind of look and I also do have a reference picture I have my laptop I don't know if I'm gonna use it a ton because I feel like sometimes I do it better if I don't reference a photo like it's good to kind of initially look at it and kind of get the general idea but I feel like it kind of turns out better if I just let it kind of come but I do have a photo there I'll put it in here the one that I typically look at when I do it um, but otherwise for the most part for now all that we're using is this um, and I'll probably just re-dip back into it as I need we're gonna go ahead and get into it I don't know if I'll be talking a ton while I'm doing it we're gonna see there might be some points where I'm not talking so yeah we're just gonna go for it and we're gonna see how it all plays out Okay, so there is the first line and then I'm going to kind of bring it up, kind of like going up my nose and then back towards my tear duct kind of. Okay, so this is what we have started with so far. It's kind of like the inner area and everything's going to be filled in. So if you make it like too thick on like the inside lines, it's okay because we're going to be filling it in anyways. Um, and then the next line, it's kind of just making a series of lines where like, I don't really know how to explain it, but you just kind of follow it down and then bring it back up and then you follow it down and then bring it back up. It's kind of, it like naturally kind of glides as you do it. So I'm going to be going, I kind of went too high up with this point, but like I said, since we're going to fill it in, I can kind of start down lower and the line that went up too high is now just going to be part of what we're filling in later. So it's okay. This one's a pretty thin line. Like so? Okay. And then... Okay, so this is what we have so far. Sometimes my like curves aren't that great. Like right now, as you can see, it's very like pointy, kind of like lightning. And I don't like that. So I'm just gonna kind of attempt it looks a lot better once we fill it in too, but I'm gonna kind of attempt to sort of curve it a little bit. Can you guys see that? There we go. So I'm kind of just like point pointing stuff, making stuff a little bit more pointy. So this line is kind of small, and then we're gonna kind of come right back down again off of this line, and this one's gonna be a little bit longer, but still kind of close. And I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of like you're, you're like curving them in a little bit and then taking it back up. Kind of like that. And then this one is going to kind of go a little bit wider, kind of like that. And maybe I'm taking it down too far, but you know what? 
okay. Okay, so that's what we have so far. I think I kind of made it a little bit too long, too quickly. Like I still need to do another line and I feel like that last one that comes down is supposed to go down as far as this one, but I went down too far. I don't really know if that makes sense, but I feel like I kind of fucked up, but it's okay. We're gonna do one more, a little bit longer, kind of the same length. And then this one, we're gonna bring all the way up. Okay, so that's kind of where we're at. Now I'm gonna kind of work on sort of filling it in or making it thicker kind of deal. I really like the body paint because I feel like it's very like uniform like it all looks the same kind of and yeah I literally just kind of just kind of go into town kind of filling it in. Oops me just fucks it up. Just completely fucks it up. Hold on. I actually have, because it's just um, face paint, I have a little cloth. I should be able to kind of, haha, kind of fix it, kind of wipe it off. So that's what we have so far. It's kind of just a process of like evolving it kind of and depending on how wet the face paint is you don't really you can't really tell if it's like splotchy anywhere until it like dries. But yeah that's what we have so far. I feel like I made it kind of like thick thicker than usual but typical me move while I'm filming I get like nervous and stuff so I don't do it as good. But now what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up, kind of up through our eyebrow. I'm going to kind of skip over my eyebrow. And we just kind of, we're trying-ish to follow this line that's down here. Except I didn't do a good job at doing that. And then just kind of bringing that up. And then we're going to kind of go like this and then fill it in like so and then once all of this is filled in it won't look so weird and once the eyebrows are done too but we're kind of just making little like points kind of and then I'm gonna come like this this is just kind of a freestyle. And now I'm gonna finish filling it in. I'm switching to a different brush because it's a lot easier to fill it in with like a bigger brush kind of deal. So we're just gonna kind of, now I can cover more like surface area as I do this. And I'm just gonna fill it in pretty much everywhere. You don't really see this stuff on the side because of um, your hair. So it's not that big of a deal what it looks like. There's the eye kind of mostly filled in. It's a little bit splotchy in some spots, but I will fix it in the end. We're gonna move on to eyebrows because I feel like that'll help to kind of um, move it along. Um, we're gonna go into this kind of greeny, blue kind of teal color and I'm just going in with this random brush. It's like thicker than like an eyebrow brush but I feel like it works because I kind of want it to be pretty intense kind of. I kind of make my eyebrows more like long like my eyebrow actually starts like right here but I kind of extend it out because the night elves definitely do have you know pretty intense eyebrows and I'm kind of bringing it like upwards too. But um, I think that this really helps to kind of, I don't know, I like the combination of the purple and the kind of blue. So yeah, I feel like it kind of brings it together. I'm trying sort of hard to cover my brown, but I don't know if it's working. 
So there it is with the eyebrow. I think it looks kind of cool. I love the color combination. I think it's really, really nice. And now we're going to work on the eyeshadow, which I'm just going to do it kind of like black, like just like my normal kind of like black eyeshadow over top. So I'm going to be going in with my jumbo pencil in black and we're just going to kind of put it all over and kind of use it as our black base. This can be super messy because we're going to blend it all out. All right, so there is my black eyeshadow. I think that that really makes it pop and adds my style to it. I'm gonna be going over it with um, this really dark blue right here because I feel like that will look good. So we're just gonna put that on over top. So it'll still kind of mostly be black, but maybe like with a blue kind of hint to it, which I feel like resonates with the night elves. There's like a garbage truck right outside of my house, so I'm sorry if that's loud. It's always when you're filming there's like loud stuff happening it's not usually like this I'm also gonna dip into this like sparkly blue just cuz literally why not okay boom there is the eyeshadow I feel like that really makes it it's like a whole trust the process thing I feel like that makes it look really really good now I'm going to go ahead and do my usual eyeliner also. And now I'm just going to do my normal mascara. That is what we have so far. I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm just going to attempt to kind of make it not so splotchy um, and just kind of go in and try to get a more, you know, like unified purple marking stuff. Just kind of the final touches. I would say that that is done. Again, I know it looks crazy having just the one side done. That kind of gives you an idea of sort of what it'll be like, but I'm going to go ahead and film my Instagram reel version and then I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like finished. I hope that this was helpful. I kind of suck at doing tutorials, but honestly, it's pretty easy and I feel like I didn't even do that good of a job, but it still looks kind of cool. Like on camera, it's like, that's a vibe, okay? That's kind of cool. I think it's pretty easy. Like, I mean, going kind of back over, it's kind of like you just have one long swoop. You swoop it back up, you swoop it down, swoop it up. It's kind of very like, you know, like the lines are curved. Like they're kind of like that way and then going up that way. And I do find that switching the direction that it's in, like when you're coming down, it's good to have it this way kind of deal. And then if you're wanting to connect it, kind of come back down that way. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's very, very hard to explain the technique, but somehow it sometimes just works and it's really just trial and error and I mess up so many times and like I said, I don't even really like how it turned out this time, but it always looks better once the other side is done, but at the same time, doing the other side and matching it is also really hard, so yeah. Either way, I'm going to film my reel now, I'm going to stop talking, and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs>
uh, blue contact lenses. I don't know if you can really tell. They're a lot more natural than the red contact lenses, but they're still cool because they're blue. Um, I went on a walk to the gas station with my husband and I went out like this. I kind of put on like a more casual outfit. I didn't want to wear like my dress. Also it was windy so I extra didn't want to wear a dress. But I literally, I walked outside like this. So basically I was proud of myself for being super bold and literally going out in public with night elf makeup. Like that's kind of intense. That's pretty good. But I felt really nice about it. and. No one said anything, so I mean, that's good. Mind you, we only interacted with the gas station cashier. I mean, but yeah, it was cool, and uh, I just kind of wanted to, I just kind of wanted to film this to throw this in there so that you guys can see it uh, with the blue contact lenses, and I took out the, the leaves because I have leaves in my hair. So this is kind of like casual Toronto. We're just hanging out. We're just chilling out. Um, I'm going to edit this video. Hopefully I'll post it like today or tomorrow or something. Not that you guys know when today or tomorrow is. But yeah, either way, I'm going to work on my World of Warcraft Beginner's Guide video that I'm working on my second one. Um, probably before I edit this one, so we'll see what order they come out in. But I really want to get that done because it has almost been a full week since my last one. So yeah. Anyways, that was all. Bye!